turns, the shaking, the back flips, the front flips, the corkscrews. What's not to love? But the question you may have, and that many of them have, is can I go on one dock? Are they safe? I didn't know the answer to that. So I went to the medical literature and I went to see what I could find regarding how many patients with heart conditions have had issues on roller coasters. What I found was one large city series published a couple years back, about 2005, looking at all the deaths between 1994 and 2004. And unfortunately, 40 people have died during that 10 year period. So about a four per year, which is actually relatively low if you look at the number of roller coasters in the US. And what we found, or what I found in this study, was that 50% of them actually had underlying medical conditions that were made worse or exacerbated and led to the patients dying. Many of these patients were unfortunately very young and had cardiac conditions that led to either heart arrhythmias or heart attacks. Some of the older patients actually were on blood thinners including Coumadin, Pradaxa, and Xarelto and died from bleeding onto their brain after the roller coaster or several days later. And that came from essentially the jostling and the twisting and the turning and weakened blood vessels in their brain. So if you're on those blood thinners, you might want to sit those rides out. Additionally, if there are signs or warnings before roller coasters or any ride that say you may wish to not go on this ride if you have an underlying heart condition, you might just want to let the kids go ahead and sit this one out.